welcome to Math Molecules. This is an activity on factorization of polynomials of the form x square plus bx plus c using GeoGebra. The first step is to log into GeoGebra. The website is geogebra.org. If you do not have an account with GeoGebra, you can go ahead and create an account. You can use your existing Google accounts for the same. This is the home page of GeoGebra. The first step is to sign in. Click on sign in. If you have an existing account, click on sign in. Otherwise, click on create account to create a new account with GeoGebra and follow the steps. Here, I will go ahead and sign in with Google account. And it has signed me in. This is the dashboard of GeoGebra. Click on resources. Here you can find any resources on any topic in mathematics. You just have to search the resources and there are plenty of simulations available. Each of these are called as applets. These tiny simulations, they're very, very helpful. So you can try them out searching for any topic of your choice. Here are the simulations what I had created. So today we would be doing factorization of polynomials. We will begin from the scratch how to create this simulation, how to create an activity on factorization of polynomials. So let's begin. You see here there is a small square visible. Click on that. 3 by 3. Square it is. Click on that. Click on GeoGebra Classic. Now it opens a page where this part is called the graphics window where you get the graph, you get the x and y coordinates and the grids. And this half is called the algebra window where you get all the calculations. So now our aim is to make an applet to represent factorization of polynomials. Let's see how we can do that. First step is I will have to take a polynomial. So let me pick a polynomial for which I would be doing the factorization. Go here and add the text. Just double click and you will get this window. And then you can use any of these to type in. Here you, I have the superscript of x square. So I am going to do this x square plus 3x plus 2. I am going to factorize this particular polynomial. Click on OK. So this is the polynomial I am going to factorize. So let's see how I do that. So I can move. I'm sorry. I can use this move option to move all the things. So let's just move it here. Now I need three figures to represent x square, 3x and the number 2. x square, I can make a square whose sides are x. So the area of that particular square is represented as x square geometrically. Let's do that first. So here I'm going to assume x is equal to 5. Just for my convenience so that everywhere I take the value of x as 5. Now I will have to draw a rectangle or a square. Click on this. It gives you polygons. Take rigid polygon so that it doesn't change its shape when we move around, when we play with it. So I just decided that I want the value of x as 5. Okay, the length of the square is 5. The side of the square is 5. So here also I should take 5, 5 and complete it. So the square is completed. Now, now this area inside represents x square. Now I need to represent x. How do I do that? I have to make a rectangle whose side is x and whose 
one of the sides is x and the other side is 1 unit. So x into 1, the area would give me x. So such x strips, how many I need? I need 3 such strips. Okay. So again, I'll have to draw a rigid polygon. But here, the length of the polygon is x while the breadth is 1. So, the area of this particular polygon would be x, x into 1 which is x, length into breadth. So, how many such strips do I need? I need 3 such strips. So, I might need vertical strips as well as horizontal strips. So, let me create few vertical and few horizontal strips. This is a horizontal strip of length x and then it is 1. Again one more I will create just in case if I need them. Okay. So this is x square and these rectangles represent x. Right now I have got 4x. And how about 2? So 2 I can represent it as a small square all the sides are of 1 units 1 plus 1 2 right in case if i try out some other polynomial let me just make few extra squares okay so these are the basic things i would need now, in case if I would like to represent these polygons in different colors, inside the polygon, just right click, go to settings. You can give any color of your choice. It could be any color what you would like to give. Maybe you can darken it. Yeah, and this rectangle strips, sorry, rectangle strips also if I would like to color. I will go ahead and color them, maybe this green, like that. I can create colors. This also, all the strips, we will put it in the same color. Let's just quickly color them. Just right click, hit on color, whatever color you would like to choose and just color them. So I can move these rectangles wherever I would like to. Yeah, so the unit squares are also here. So let me just move them here. And uh, if you do not want these labeling inside, you can always go ahead, right click, just right click on this and uncheck show label and it disappears you can do that for all of these the small letters you know you just have to right click near them and uncheck show label and these disappear so i'm not going ahead with that you can try it out yourself now we have enough materials like we have rectangular strips ready we have a square and we have this as unit squares now let's see how we can use this for factorization. Now there are too many details uh, here in this window. I don't want this algebraic window to do any calculation. In that case, I can go for a view where I don't see the algebraic window. Now click on this, go to view. Okay, I had clicked on these three lines and go to view, uncheck algebra. Okay, if it is checked, the algebra window appears. If it is unchecked, it doesn't appear. Now we have only the graphics window. You see that graphics is checked. 
okay so now we will go back now if i don't want these grids also i just want a plain screen in that case i can remove axis i can also remove the grids now i have a plain screen okay so now we were going to represent this x square plus 3x plus 2 so first i will take the x square now I have to arrange these three strips, any three strips plus two of the squares in such a way that we get a proper polygon. Okay, so that it's all fit, like how you fix tangrams or any kind of puzzles. So let me try this way if I fix these. Now I have got, yeah, I fixed three strips of X, 3X. And now these two squares I have to fit in. Let me just drag them here and see if I can fit them here. Yes, I was able to fit it here. Yeah, if you keep it properly, it is fixed. So now let's see how we have got the factorization. I'm just taking this pen to write it here. So this distance from here to here, it is not drawing properly, is x. Okay, From here till here it is x and this is 1. So the entire thing is x plus 1. And this side it is from here if i see from here till here it is x and this is again one unit and one unit that means this entire length is x plus 2 okay so this represents the the polynomial x square plus 3x plus 2 it is this one which is represented by the area of this particular polygon whose sides are x plus 1 into x plus 2 so, x plus 2 i'm sorry so this is equal to x plus 1 into x plus so we have got the factorization of this particular polynomial using geometrical representation. Let's try out another example. Here I have changed the expression to x square plus 4x plus 4. Let's rearrange these strips and get a polygon. So here we need four rectangles of area x. So let me try keeping these two together and maybe the horizontal ones one below the other yeah let me keep it here and the constant four so i need these four unit squares so i can keep it here the same activity you can do with paper cutouts It is a lot more easier. You don't have to cut the paper, measure it. Yes. So now we have fixed it as a proper polygon. Now we will see what are the dimensions of this polygon. So this distance is x and 1 and 1. So this is x plus 2. If you see here, it is x, 1, 1, x plus 2. How about this distance? It is x plus 2 x plus 2 so x plus 2 on both the sides thus this is factorized as x plus 2 into x plus 2 i can write it equal to x plus 2 into x plus 2 it is nothing but x plus 2 the whole square if you see that applying the identity, we would get x plus 2 the whole square. So we've arrived at the correct factorization. So this is how we used factorization 
in the geometrical way. We try to represent it geometrically and factorize the given polynomial. Once your activity is done, you can go ahead and save the activity. Go to file and just save it and give a name to it. So once you give a name, say for example, now I'm just going to give the name as trial because I already have an activity created and I click on save and now let's go back and in the resources under mine you, you can see the activities you had created. We just have to refresh it to see the activity. See the trial activity appears here. You can share it with anybody with the link. Directly go ahead copy the link and share your activity so that others can also use it. So this is the factorization activity which I had created the same thing. So here this is the x square box and these are the unit squares and you can just play around with these. The link for this activity I would give it in the description box for you all to try it. I hope this tutorial was helpful in understanding factorization of polynomials. Thank you so much for watching Math Molecule. Young ones, young ones.